In this video, I want to solve some interesting examples of the congruences. So here I've considered the two problems. And in the first problem, I want to show that 41 divide 2 to the power 20 minus 1. So let us consider the solution of the first problem. And since I want to show 41 divides 2 to the power 20 minus 1. So of course, we will not going to solve the power 2 to the power 20 and we are going to multiply 2 20 times. Rather, we will use the congruence properties. So let's start looking the easiest power that we know. So we know that 2 to the power 1 is congruent to 2 modulo 41. So as we can use this property that a is congruent to a modulo n. I've used uh, these property in my earlier video also that congruences satisfy the equivalence relation. So it also satisfy the reflexive property. So whenever we take a, this is always congruent to a modulo n. And then similarly looking the power that we are little comfortable, we know 2 to the power 5, this is 32. And 32 is congruent to minus 9 modulo 41. Because if I subtract, if I look at this one, 32 minus 9, which it will come on the left hand side, it will become 41 and 41 is congruent to 0 modulo 41. So this will, this will satisfy this congress. And so I can say 32 is congruent to minus 9 modulo 41. Now because I have 2 to the power 5, so I can raise its power. So we can have 2 to the power 5 raised to power 4. This is congruent to minus 9 raised to power uh, 4 modulo 41. Here we are using the property that if a is congruent to b modulo n, then a raised to power k is congruent to b raised to power k modulo n. So we have done this property in my earlier videos. So this become that means I have raised the positive power k on both sides and here of course k is your non-negative integer. So we will have 2 to the power 20. This is congruent to now minus 9 to the power 4 I can write it as minus 9 square and then minus 9 square modulo 41. And we notice that minus 9 square is e congruent to 81 because 9 square is 81 and then the negative sign is with appearing with the even power. 81 is congruent to minus 1 modulo 41 because 81 with this minus 1 turning minus 1 on the left hand side will become 82 and 41 multiplied by 2 is 82. So this congruence is true. 81 is congruent to minus 1 modulo 41 is absolutely true. So this means the first value we can say that you consider this as two congruences and then multiply two congruences. We can use the property that if you have A is congruent to B modulo n then you can raise the power again so raising their power or multiplying these two so this means this is also congruent to 81 the next one is also congruent to 81 modulo 41 and so i know that 81 is congruent to minus 1 this is also congruent to minus 1 modulo 41 or we can just simply raise the power as i've discussed here this will become congruent to 1 modulo 41 on my left hand side i got 2 to the power 20 on my right side of the congruence, I got 1. So this will show that 41 divide 2 to the power 20 minus 1. Or we can say that on dividing 2 to the power 20 by 41, we leave a remainder 1. So this proves our first uh, problem where we want to show that 41 divide 2 to the power 20 minus 1. In my second problem, we want to find the remainder when this sum is divided by 12. So basically, we want to find what integer will come at this place when it is divided by 12 and so for this we need to reduce this sum a little more and we have to see what is it coming up we can see that 1 factorial is congruent to 1 modulo 12 because 1 factorial is 1 only then we can see 2 factorial is congruent to 2 modulo 12 2 factorial is only 2 and then 3 factorial which is 3 factorial is 6 and 6 is again congruent to 6 modulo 12 so basically we are saying 3 factorial is congruent to 6 and then 4 factorial we can see 4 factorial when open this will become 4 into 3 into 2 which will become uh, 12 into 2 that is 24 and 24 is fully divisible by 12. So this is congruent to 0 modulo 12 and so 5 factorial which is simply 5 into 4 factorial. Now we have already proved in the previous step that 4 factorial is always congruent to 0. So this we can replace 5 into 0 modulo 12. Or we can say that this is obviously 0 modulo 12. Now how can we replace this? Because we did this property that if a is congruent to b modulo n. 
and we can say that b is congruent to c modulo n then obviously this will show us that a is congruent to c modulo n now what is happening in our problem we have shown that 4 factorial is congruent to 0 modulo 12 and then we have shown that 5 factorial is congruent to 5 into 4 factorial and so we are replacing this value 4 factorial is congruent to further 0 so this means we are simply replacing 5 is uh, this 4 factorial is congruent to 0 modulo 12 so this way we can use the basic property of the congresses to solve this question and so obviously now in every other uh, larger number till 100 we can see that 4 factorial is going to repeat into these uh, uh, term when I open this uh, 100 factorial. So this is going to be congruent to 0 modulo 12. And now just substitute this value here. So we can simply say so the above sum 1 factorial is simply 1, 2 factorial is 2, 3 factorial is 6 and 4 factorial onwards every other quantity is congruent to 0. This is congruent to dash modulo 12. And now you just simply look at what is this quantity. This is 6 plus 2, 8 plus 1. So here I have to keep this 9. So the sum reduces to this quantity because of this. And then we just simply sum this quantity since this quantity is smaller than 12. So this act as a remainder. So our solution is that the remainder is 9. So this is the answer.